In the previous test drive videos we've been using the virtual keyboard to drive Sequitron. Now in this video we'll look at connecting and configuring a real one. First of all a quick recap on output ports as we won't hear anything without these. Now normally Sequitron starts up by allocating the first input and output devices it finds on your system. So if you've not added a MIDI device chances are it will start up like this with no inputs and the output is the internal Microsoft synthesizer which is built into Windows. Now if we click run the virtual keyboard should work and the sounds come from this internal synthesizer. Now as we saw earlier this Microsoft synth has a very sluggish response so I've already installed another software synth to the PC a free one called Bass MIDI. So to change the output port click stop, acknowledge the prompt click config, ports and the output settings are on the right there are two lists one is the device list which is all the devices detected by the Sequitron when it started and the ports list are all those devices allocated for use by the Sequitron and you can see here the port that's allocated is the Microsoft Soundwave synth you allocate and deallocate ports by moving them to and from the device list now here's the device for the base MIDI soft synth. To allocate it, we just click the right arrow and it's moved across. Now we can have several ports, but to keep things simple, we'll just have one. So we'll get rid of the Microsoft port by clicking it and then click the left arrow. We close the window, return to the main screen, and the port section here just confirms that we've got the base MIDI driver as our output port. So we just click run and confirm everything works by using the virtual keyboard and there we have it. Now internal sound generators or soft synths all vary in responsiveness depending on how they're configured and your PC's performance. And external sound generators won't have this problem and we'll look at these later. So for now we'll leave the output port set with this internal soft synth. If you haven't got that on yours you can leave it set to the Microsoft one if you like and we'll look at connecting a real keyboard as an input. Now first you need a physical connection and this depends on your PC's MIDI interface and there are many options. Now one could be a sound card with a MIDI interface and in this case you'd connect a MIDI cable directly from the keyboard output to the MIDI input on the sound card. Another option could be a MIDI to USB adapter in which case you'd connect the MIDI cable from the keyboard to the adapter and then plug a USB cable from the adapter to your PC. Now you may also need to install some driver software depending on your Windows setup. Either way the device should appear in the input device list when you click config ports. Now you can see here it's greyed out, I can't click it yet because we're not stopped. So click stop, acknowledge the prompt, config ports. We're looking at the left hand side now which is all to do with inputs. These are the input devices found by Sequitron when it started and these are the devices that have been allocated for use as inputs. Now if your device doesn't appear in this device list you can try clicking the scan button but if that doesn't work close Sequitron and restart it. If that still doesn't work then there's something wrong with your interface. Either it's not installed correctly or it's configured incorrectly. Okay here's an example of an internal sound card this is an M Audio Delta card which has audio and MIDI connections and its MIDI interface appears here Delta AP MIDI. Now this one here is an example of a MIDI to USB adapter. This is an M Audio MIDI Sport 4x4 which has four MIDI input sockets and they appear as separate devices in this list as in A, in B, C and D. So let's try using this Yamaha P95 electric piano as a controller keyboard. Now this has got two MIDI sockets, an input and an output, but only connect the output to the PC for now. If you want to connect the input, there's an extra configuration step which we'll cover later. So I've connected it to the input A on the MIDI Sport 4x4 adapter. So I need to allocate that particular device in the port section. And there it is. 
Now the device names are given by the vendor of the interface and these can be a bit cryptic so you can rename these if you like. You click the port you want, click name and type. Now we close the ports window, return to the main screen. Now one important step before we click run, we need to tell Sequatron where to place the key maps on your music keyboard. Now this mapping of music keys to commands is crucial to Sequatron as its whole purpose is to be played and controlled from the music keyboard. And as keyboards vary considerably in size and layout, we need a standard reference point. We do this by clicking the Calibrate Command Key button here, which changes to a prompt which says Press Live Command Key. As we saw in previous videos, the Command Key switches the keyboard from Live Mode to Command Mode, and we use this as our reference point. Now it can be any key within the 10 octave MIDI range, so it doesn't have to be on your physical keyboard. It could be another device, such as a second keyboard, a drum pad or a foot switch. But for this demo we'll stick with the convention used in the factory settings and examples and use the lowest C key. Now this keyboard starts on A so we want the lowest C key which is here. Just press and release the key and the prompt should disappear. Now if it doesn't then MIDI signals are not getting through from your keyboard which could be due to an incorrect port or something more fundamental with the MIDI connection. If the prompt disappears, then we're done, so we can click Run. And now we can play keys on the real keyboard, and they should sound through the output port, which in this case is the base MIDI driver. Now if this all works, you can save the configuration by clicking Config, Save, All to Default, if you get any prompts, just acknowledge them. And this now avoids having to allocate and calibrate next time round. We can show this by closing down and starting again. OK, I've restarted. The input port has still got our Yamaha name, the output port is still the base MIDI driver, and the keys play, and the leftmost C key switches to command mode and back again. Okay, so that's the input sorted. So what if your keyboard is a hybrid device like this Yamaha and is capable of generating its own sounds? Can we use those sounds instead of the internal soft synth? Well, this is what the other MIDI socket's for. But before we connect it, we must disable local control. So what does this mean? Normally in hybrid devices like these, the keyboard section is connected directly to the sound section using an internal link. Now this is called local, or local control, and is how the device is able to play without any MIDI connections to the outside world. Now if you connect both sections to Sequatron, then the sound section will be driven by both the keyboard and Sequatron at the same time. And this will cause various problems. Sometimes you get multiple notes, or an echo type effect, or sometimes it's complete silence. So you need to disable this local connection, so that Sequatron is the only thing controlling your sound generator. Now the mechanism you use to do this is dependent on the device. Now some use configuration menus, but this P95 uses a combination of buttons and a music key, which isn't very intuitive, so don't lose the manual. This is how you do it on the P95. You press Demo, Metronome, and the penultimate C key at the top. And that toggles control on or off. Now you can verify local control is off by pressing some keys. No sound should be heard through the device's speakers. Now if I press a key now, you can hear a sound because that's going through the bass MIDI driver. If I turn the sound down on that, the keys make no noise. The volume control on the Yamaha is right up, 
no sound. If I toggle local control back on again, that's the sound generator of the Yamaha. I'll switch it off, and now the sound generator is making no noise at all. So now we can connect the PC output to the piano input and allocate the output port in the sequitron. So we click stop, acknowledge the prompt, config ports, and on the output section now we get rid of the base MIDI driver, highlight left arrow, and now we want the device that we connected to the Yamaha sound generator. Now I used output A, doesn't matter which one you use, you can see the four output ports here from the 4x4. And again you can rename the device name if you want. I've called it P95 Sounds. So close the window, back to the main screen, click run, and everything should work. So we've got the Yamaha keyboard going into the Secretron and back out again into the Yamaha's sound generator. Now you can mix and match any combination of input and output devices. Now we've just seen two uses for the Yamaha keyboard, one driving the soft synth inside the PC and the other driving its own sound generator. But we could have used a different input device, such as a set of drum pads, to drive either of those sound outputs. As an example I've connected some drum pads to input B on the MIDI Sport, so we'll allocate that. We'll get rid of the Yamaha for now. Click Run. OK, don't forget to save the configuration. Config, Save, All to Default, Acknowledge the Prompt, and that means you don't have to do it all next time round. And that's the end of the video, so thanks for watching.